Hello, this is Ashley from Crafting with Ashley and welcome to this video. This is the card I'm making today. It's this lovely bright daisy, very 3D and dimensional as you can see. So, let's get started. We're going to start with the stamping. And I've got here a piece, some pieces of wisp of basic white, I should say rather. And let me bring in my stamps and my ink pad. We're going to be using is Old Olive. And this is the stamp set we're going to be using, Daisy Lane, and we're going to use this one that says it's time, it's your time to shine, and we're going to use in the stem. So let me ink up my stem. Um, let's see, have it like that. Okay. And then I've got here on this piece of whisper white, I'm going to stamp the sentiment. It's your time to shine. Didn't do that very well, so let's try again. Yep, that's fine. Okay, close up the ink pad before I stick myself in it, because I nearly did that just now. Okay, and we're just going to leave those two aside for now to dry a little bit. And we're going to work on our daisy. So I've got a piece, scrap piece here of, what's this called? Mango Melody, and I'm going to be using firstly the daisy punch, which is this one here. And we're going to cut out two daisies. just like that and then let me cut off this excess before it gets stuck in the punch put that aside and then I'm going to bring in this one called the medium daisy and I'm going to punch out two of those so close up our punches, I always do that, just habit I think. Okay, so now we have our four daisies. So I'm going to bring in the Big Boss machine. I want to show you what I'm going to do. Okay, this is the Big Boss. And I've got here the Hammered Metal 3D Embossing Folder. So let me get my plates. We just need the base plate and the speciality plate. Eek. Sometimes you feel like you've got no space, even though you seem to have had a ton to start off with. Now I'm just going to put these daisies, as you can see, into the embossing folder. And this will just give them some texture, just like that. Okay, I've put them through the embossing folder and you can see here they've got a lot of texture. So I can get rid of the embossing folder. And this just gives them, as you can see, all this extra texture. Now I'm just going to take my, what do you call this thing, my um, bone folder and just help to start breaking down the fibres in the petals and just moulding them and giving them a little bit of dimension like this and then at the end I'm just going to just the very end as you can see and push them in so they have quite a bit of dimension I'm going to do the same here so I'm just going to take my bone folder and as you can see I'm just working it along the petals rather go little and often rather than being too heavy handed. If you're too heavy handed you're going to um, tear something. For absolute definite you're going to tear something. And if you do just punch another one. We've all torn something at some point. None of us are perfect. It's not possible. 
Okay, and last but not least, this little Oki. Okay. So now I'm going to assemble everything quickly and I'm going to offset so you're going to see what that means. So I'm going to put a little bit of Tombow in there and then I'm going to offset the petals, see? Just like that, so it fills in the gaps and gives the flower a fuller appearance. So just like that. And I'm going to do the same here. A little bit of Tombow and offset the small one in exactly the same way and then some Tombow in there and then I'm going to just plonk this one in the centre there and hold it and that should give it some dimension so put that aside for now sorry for the noise Okay, I'm going to bring back all our bits. So let's start off here with our base. And I've got my trimmer here. Now I'm going to want this to be somewhere like this, but I don't want the full width of my basic white. So I'm going to actually just going to use a pencil here to decide where I want to roughly cut. Something like that. Take that away and then I can just cut where I've made that dot with my trimmer like that and the same here. Okay, get rid of those two bits and then let's see, I think we're going to want it a bit shorter as well so I'm going to cut you can see this is how I make it even when I did the original I didn't do any measurements I just went on pure feel so I think a little bit over off the top not too much and that will be enough and that's how I decided my measurements so now I have a piece here of old olive that I'm going to map this piece on so and then we're just going to cut. Right. My snail's given up the ghost. Let's go back to Tombow. Okay. I'm just going to. mat it here and then just cut it out just using the trimmer so there we have our piece okay now we should have our sentiment should be somewhere around here and we're just going to cut that out so rid of that piece okay and then we're going to cut here somewhere as well again I'm not being very precise I'm just eyeballing it I promise you it works especially if you don't get too hung up on everything that will be fine for me so I'll get rid of the trimmer and another piece here of scrap okay and this is again just the old olive and this time I'm just going to cut it using good old fashioned scissors Just like that. Okay, so let's bring back our card base. So this is going to be old olive as well, and it's a standard A6 card base. That's an A4 sheet cut in half and then fold in half. 
And then we're going to put on some of this pear pizzazz. Those very tonal colours so that the, um, the flower really pops. Just like that. And then some more on the back of here. I'm just going to centre this roughly, something like that. And then a flower. I'm just going to fluff it up a little bit before I put it down. I'm just going to put some Tombow a goodly amount on the back there. And then it goes down like that. And then I saying. And I've just got Tombow all over my craft mat, but hey ho. Let's see if I've got a tissue here. I can wipe off the worst of it. Okay, so that's what we've got so far. I'm going to get my ribbon out, and this is the gingham ribbon, and this is in Bumblebee. It's all different yellows I'm using. I've used Mango Melody for the flower and this is Bumblebee but I think they match really quite well. And we're going to try and tie a bow and we're going to say that that is a bow and that is the best it is going to get. Oh, it's a bit weird of a bow. I've trimmed it a bit too much. So let's make the loops a bit smaller to match. That'll do. Okay. Glue dots, glue dots, glue dots. We're on the finishing straight, guys. So, glue dots. There we go. Okay. Glue dots away. Time for finishing touches. We're going to use these gilded gems and we're going to use a large one here and we're going to put this straight in as our flower centre there. So there are our two cards. I hope you liked them. If you did, I'd be grateful if you could give it a thumbs up so YouTube know. And please do subscribe to my videos if you haven't already. I'd be much appreciated. If you want to hear more information about this project supply list, um, measurements etc it's all on the blog post on my website and the links to that and all my social media links are in the description box below this includes the link to my facebook group where i host a monthly online car club as well as a two monthly kit club where we get together and craft via zoom so do come and check us out so thank you again and until next time enjoy being creative bye bye